I extracted a process of creating a business plan. From there, I entered it into Asana, complete with overarching tasks as well as subtasks between some of them. Um, now, please note, this is not exactly how you write a business plan, um, but it provides a really good example to articulate some different points about templates in Asana, as well as um, creating some different pieces off of, off of projects and templates, okay? So with this business plan process, I number one, extracted it. Um, from extraction, that includes what is the task? Who is going to carry out the task? How long does it take? as well as understanding, is anything else dependent upon this task being completed, okay? With that, again, I input that process directly into Asana. And from there, I outline some due dates. What has to happen before what? What is relying on something else in order to be completed? I created the due dates. After creating the due dates, I went into each individual task and provided um, dependencies simply by clicking on the plus um, and adding a dependency there. You can do blocking or turn it to blocked by, by the way. Um, from there, after I have all of my dependencies, my dates, who it's assigned to, what the task is, so on and so forth, outlined even down to the sub item level, I'm going to check out the timeline view. This takes just a moment to actually generate. Once the timeline view is generated, you can see what the different tasks are within the project and how they flow to one another. What is dependent on what? This is a really great way to verify that your information is correct. I'm going to go back to the list view. Now that I've ensured that this information is correct, because this is something that I am going to do, this business plan, I'm going to be creating it, you know, in another year, potentially another three years. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the carrot to the right of the name of the project. And I'm just going to convert this to a template. A year from now, when I need to rewrite my business plan or make updates to my business plan, I'm going to choose use template and I'm going to call this project 2022 business plan updates. I'm going to make it public to my company resource team. I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to start this next year, probably around the same time. So I'm just going to choose, there we go. As you can see, because I set up those dependencies as well as the dates, it will actually auto-generate project dates based on my start date, which is really cool. So this shows that the process that I outlined with the dependencies as well as the dates outlined, um, this is about a month and a half, um, a month and a half process. It's a month and a half long, okay? I'm not gonna schedule tasks on weekends because no, thank you. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and click on create project. Excuse me. As you can see, this is slowly generating in the bottom left hand corner. It'll say, hey, you can start using it while it's generating. I usually just sit back, watch it generate, go get a glass of water um, or do something to allow it to just generate to its full potential before jumping right in. Um, and this is how we create templates with uh, due dates that will self-generate based on a start date.